Okay, thank you. Okay. So, uh, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back. So, uh, this is a joint uh, work with uh, Vishra and Sal, uh, one of uh, one of the uh, research assistants in our department, and she is also present here. But I will be uh, uh, delivering the presentation. But if there are some inconsistencies and problems, I will blame her later. Okay, not now. So. The uh, title of our talk is the status of Nene and optional negative concord in Turkish. As you can see, negative concord is still following us. So in this talk, I want to investigate the syntactic and semantic characteristics of the Turkish negative conjunction, Nene, which can be translated into English as neither nor, right? And I, I will argue that Nene is not a negative concord item, like hiç kimse or hiç bir şey, some, it's a different beast. Right, uh, it's not an N word, but behaves more like an element with its own negative semantics. Right, in that sense, there is no such thing as exceptionally optional negative concord in the language. That will be my claim. So this is how I am going to proceed. I will give you some background on negative concords across languages and the use of nene in Turkish, and some previous work, uh, theoretical work, especially on nene and. Uh, uh, remaining problems there. Then I will propose a semantic account of Nene, right? I will attempt to propose, let's say, and I will conclude with some suggestions for uh, later studies. So we, we know, let me try to rephrase what negative concord is. Negative concord is a phenomenon in which two or more, let's say, two or more morphosyntactically negative elements yield one negation in the sentence, in the structure. And we have the same examples in one and two. So Milan cannot see anything. Again, Nishta and Ne, Ne is obligatory. And in two, Nikada and Ne, again, Milan never dries. So the elements like Nishta and Nikada are known as N-words or negative concord items in later studies. Okay, Jeritic uh, claims that there are at least two types of NCIs in Turkish a well-known strict NC language. By now we have established that Turkish is a strict NC language. So let's com compare three and four to five and six on the other slide. So hiç kimse gelmedi, nobody came. So hiç kimse is an NCI, needs sent a uh, close mate negation, right? Ali hiçbir şey görmedi, I put it in the object position as well, right? I didn't see anything. And here is an adverbial, right? I never go there. So in each case, uh, the presence of close mate negation is obligatory. This is strict NC. Uh, in five, we have a different structural essay. Ne Ali ne Beste geldi, right? Neither Ali nor Beste came, right? So we have ne ne, neither nor, but the uh, negation is not ne uh, necessary here, obligatory. And uh, it appears that uh, Nene carries its own semantics, has its own semantic meaning, let's say. In six, interestingly, in Turkish, ne ali ne beste gelmedi. This is also possible, right? Uh, so, ne ali ne beste gelmedi. We, we have uh, the preferred reading, let's say, the NC reading, neither ali nor beste came, right? So, the presence of sentential negation, verbal negation, does not have any effect on the meaning, right? Jeretic also argues that uh, there is also the, the end reading here, right? Neither Ali nor Beste didn't come, so that, that they both came, right? I don't get that reading, that's why I started working on this, right? But he, her claim is that the difference between 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 is that an element, like hiç kimse, is an NCI, while the behavior of Nene indicates hybridity, so we see both strict NC and non-strict NC of the Turkish NC system and optionality in the negative uh, concords. Optionality, like optional, negation is optional. So, hiç kimse, according to her, is a rigid quantifier type, right? Licensed by negation, but nene is type flexible, right? Type flexible. But the claim is that nene is like an NCI, is an NCI with some flexible capability, let's say. Ability. So, I have put some arguments, counter arguments to his her claims. Right, one one is that Nene is like other NCIs. The only difference is that it is type flexible. This is her 
and my counter argument will be here any appears in structures without the presence of sentential or any uh, any type of negation regardless of whether it conjoins phrasal or clausal elements as in five right in contrast nci is always ne require negation we know that by now NA exhibits NCBI behavior only when it coordinates constituents that are not full clauses. That's her claim. So that's why he she calls this exceptionally optional uh, negative concord in Turkish. I argue that why should there be such a specific constraint in the NC system, right? If the optionality of NA is because of its semantic type, why do we observe it only in certain syntactic constructions? Right. This is my claim. I don't know if it makes sense or not. One would have to posit a syntactic driven semantic account then. Also, the optionality in Turkish NC system is like the optionality in languages like West Flemish, she says. So we have eight. That Valeria doesn't know anybody. So we have an N word, Niemand. But the, op uh, the negation is optional here, as you can see, right, in parentheses. However, West Flemish is an NC language, but it belongs to a different subgroup, right? It belongs to non-proper NC languages, a story for another day, obviously. It, it, it independently requires movement of all NCIs out of the VP. So Niemand obviously moved out of the VP to a higher position. And the, therefore, the VP domain doesn't need to be under the scope of negation. So we have, that's why negation is optional in West Flemish. Uh, but this is not the case in Turkish, right? In West Flemish, the co occurrence, or we, we don't see something like that in Turkish, let's say. In West Flemish, the co occurrence of negation in sentences containing an NC is optional, not the neither nor construction. Uh, then I look at so certain uh, syntactic structures. The syntactic and semantic behavior of Nene indicates that it behaves more like an element that inherently has semantic content rather than being an NCI. Ne Ahmet, ne Mehmet partiye geldi. Subject, right? Neither Ahmet nor Mehmet came to the party. Or 10, Ayşe invited neither Ahmet nor Mehmet to the party. So this is the object. Or Nene combining object and piece. In 11, we have Ayşe did her homework by getting help from neither Ahmet nor Mehmet. So Nene is in, a, in an adjunct clause. I put it in an adjunct clause. And as you can see, negation does not appear in each one. And 12, we have in 12, ne Ahmet dans etti, ne Mehmet müzik dinledi. Neither Ahmet dance nor Mehmet listen to music. Ne ne, in this case, uh, combines uh, clauses, right? Elements uh, or structures as big as clauses. So the grammaticality of sentences in 9 to 12 indicates that with ne ne, there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between negative form and negative meaning. The meaning of nene seems to include semantics of negation. There is no need to postulate and see for its occurrence. So further evidence that nene has its own negative semantics comes from its interaction with the suffixes without, right? I don't know, this is a, it's a good uh, test, right? But uh, in 13, we have Oriya, uh, Ne Ahmet, ne Mehmet gittim. This is fine. I went there neither with Ahmet nor with Mehmet. In 14, we have oraya ne Ahmet, ne de Mehmet siz gittim. So here we have the double negation meaning, right? I went there along with Ahmet and Mehmet. They were with me. So the presence of ne ne and siz it reverses the meaning in this case. And I take this to show that ne ne has its own semantics when it interacts with another negative element in the sentence. Okay. Diagnostic, yeah, I forgot to turn, right? I don't know if this was a good diagnostic test or not. Okay. So the end reading is the only possible reading in 14. This shows that both nene and the negative suffix, yeah, okay, we know that. So in Turkish, the t nature of NCIs and nene can then be illustrated as follows, right? This is my preliminary semantic analysis quotation marks, NCIs, true negative concord items that are obligatorily licensed by sentential negation. So we know that lots of people have said that, have show, shown that NCIs are indefinite with no quantification force, right? So hiçbir şey, so they need negation, they need to be under the roof of negation. 
Yeah, sorry. Nene is different and negative conjunction with its own semantics of negation can, but still can appear along with sentential negation with no semantic consequences. So the meaning of Nene would be, it's not the case that either are A or B, right? Which includes negation, obviously. So the presence of negation along with Nene is not due to the semantic characteristics of negative conjunction, but because of certain phenomena not directly to, related to its meaning, right? For instance, Göksel, the acceptability of Nene with negation would suggest that it's subject to certain syntactic and stylistic restrictions. For instance, in 15, ne yaşlı kadınları, ne Türk işlerini görürüm, or göremem, right? I see neither old women nor Turkish laborers. So we have a verb with or without negation with the same meaning, right? However, in 16, we have a longer sentence, ne yaşlı kadınları, ne I can see neither old women nor Turkish laborers who buy all the unnecessary things from all the shops before they go to their countries. So in 16, no such optionality is available where the distance between nene and the verb forces the predicate to be marked for negation, right? So we have nene, but then we have lots of different elements in between. So the negation here is like reminding us that, like it's like a flag, right? Reminding us that this is a negative sentence or the meaning is negative. In cases where nene is far from the main word, negation on the verb improves the reading. This is Göksel, 1987. Schneider and Ischsever also claim that sentences with and without a negative marker have different focus and information structural properties. Nene negates a sentence when it is focused, when it carries heavy stress, right? So in 17, we have ne annem, ne babam eve gelmedi. So focus is on the verb. But when the focus is on the nene, on nene, Negation is not allowed, as in 18, right? Ne annem, ne babam eve gelmedi. In those cases where nene is in focus, negation is never allowed on the verb, they say. These two analyses, so I take these two analyses to not go against the idea that nene is negative and still may appear with negation. This is not because of its semantics, but because of syntactic or focus reasons, I claim. And here I am showing a true hybrid system from Hungarian, right? We have strict and non-strict NC in Hungarian, right? So in 18, we have no, no one, again, Sanki, our NCI, let's say. And sentential negation is obligatory here. Without NEM, without negation, the sentence would be ungrammatical, right? No one saw anything. And in 20, we have Sanki Sam, right? No one saw anything here. We don't have, we can't have sentential negation, right? So it is, so if 19 is strict NC, 20 is non-strict NC. But here we have a different lexical item, right? It looks similar, but still something different. We don't have this, we don't have this kind of difference in Turkish. Interestingly, Sanki, no one, and Sanki, Sam, no one, nor are paralleled with two distinct neither nor constructions that I found, right? So in 21, Sanki Nem Alut, no one slept, right? No one slept. So this is strict NC. We have negation, as you can see. So we have neither Kate nor Marie slept. Again, we need to have negation here. So strict NC, particle Sam precedes the host, meaning Sam precedes the noun, phrase, noun phrases that it connects or combines, let's say. In 22, we have no one slept, right? Sanki Sam Alut, no one slept. This is non-strict NC. Interestingly enough, we have neither Kate nor Marie slept. In this case, this is non-strict NC. Particle follows the host, right? Particle, Sam, follows the MPs that it combines, let's say. My argument is that none of these happening in Hungarian are observed in Turkish, right? So the hybrid system, a true hybrid system or a hybrid system is very different from what we have in Turkish. Another one, right? The negative conjunction nini in Spanish. Interestingly enough, nini is very similar to nene in Turkish, right? Also appears without sentential negation as shown in 23, right? Neither Juan nor Antonio came. Uh, we have, however, it can also occur with negation, right? Neither Juan nor Antonio came. 
we have negation at the beginning. So this may raise the question whether negative conjuncts have a hybrid nature and whether they can optionally appear with negation in other languages like Turkish, right? However, this is not the case in Spanish as negative conjunction as well as all ancients can and must appear with negation in the post-verbal position. So if we move the elements to the post-verbal position, then we need negation. In 5025, we have anything here with no negation, I guess. But if you move it to a verb post-verbal position, then we need to have not right now. So there's a strict syntactic requirement here. The VP domain must be within the scope of negation. And my point here is that Turkish is not like Spanish. Turkish is not like uh, Hungarian as far as the NCIs and the Nene are concerned. Nene is different from NCIs as it can appear on its own without the presence of sentential negation regardless of its syntactic position, right? Turkish NC is not a hybrid system. Nene is able to negate the sentence by itself. The presence of negation does not have to do with NC, but for other reasons such as syntactic distance and focus. Further work on the interaction between Nene and negation on the one hand and NCI and negation will shed more light on these issues, both in Turkish and in other languages as well, I guess. These are my selected references and thank you. Thank you very much, Emrah Bey. Uh, is there any question or remarks for Emrah Bey and Bishra Hanam's presentation? Yes, Pavel has the question. Yes, Pavel. Yes. yes. Uh, Thank you so much for your interesting presentation. Uh, sorry for my question, it's not uh, directly uh, co connected with your uh, topic, but as, a, as an etymologist, I'm greatly interested in the origin of this uh, Nene construction in Turkey. <laughs> Is it a, a native uh, uh, Turkic uh, de de development, probably a cognitable Turkic man thing, or um, it may be interpreted uh, as a foreign, um, uh, I see. Okay. foreign influence, probably from a Slavic le le language in European. or in yeah. the European in general. What do I you think? See. Okay, thank you. I have two answers. The short answer is I don't know. The long answer is I should know because we have ne. Uh, it also means what, right? Regular. Uh, what did you do? Ne yaptın, right? So we have the same element. Uh, I should know more about this. I don't, alas, I don't know, right? I know a lot about the English technology, but uh, for this one, but we have luckily Mehmet Ölmez Hocam here. So <laughs> I, I, I referred this question to him. Go ahead, please, uh, Mehmet Hocam. Thanks. Actually, I like to ask similar question like Pavel. Uh, 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 did you check also traditional grammars about ne and ne? Yeah. Uh, 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 I, uh, I, I, I mean, uh, traditional grammars. I, I, I looked at uh, Cornfield 1997 and Gökçen and Kerslake to, uh, 2005. Uh, but uh, there is Lewis. There is uh, others. Yeah. Yeah. Who should we I look cannot, at? Uh, Okay. <laughs> we cannot mention uh, Gökçen's grammar as traditional grammar. Uh, yeah. uh, the all this traditional grammar belongs to Jean Denis. Uh, ah, maybe you know. Yeah, okay. Uh, there is two, yes. I will have a look. Thank you. Yes, uh, you are welcome. Two different translations to Turkish uh, and uh, exec uh, to the Kavalzi edition after uh -huh. uh, page 602. There is 10 page examples. Different okay. examples. Uh, okay. uh, <laughs> uh, I, I different examples. Look. And yeah. uh, same time, uh, I have uh, asked to a student from um, Afghanistan who can uh, compare Turkish and Persian very well. I have uh -huh. asked him to following sentence. Ne sabahları ne de akşamları süt içerim. Mm -hmm. Ne sabahları ne de akşamları süt içerim. He has translated it to uh, Persian like that. Ne subha şiir mi noşem ne şam ha. Uh, and uh, actually in Old Turkic, 
uh, the word ne is just a WH word. Uh, it is never a negation word. Uh, and uh, maybe with, uh, with, uh, with, popular, uh, uh, with popular term, uh, copy word from Persian, we should compare it better with uh, Persian. It is more useful if you have time to compare uh, with uh, with a, a Persian grammar or some studies from Persian. Uh, it could be more it's useful. Borrowed, borrowed word. Do you mean it's a borrowed word from loan word from uh, Persian? It can be like that because okay. in Old Turkic uh, or Middle Turkic we don't have a ne and ne. Uh, yeah. Instead of ne and ne in Uyghur uh, we have up. Blah 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 up. There is okay. a word up. Uh, it can be okay. also another uh, uh, irony in word. This okay. up and up. Yeah, okay. take it. Mehmet Hocam, I have a question. Uh, the, the sentence you read in Persian, does it have negation in it? Yes. Ne subha shir mi no shem, ne sham ha. Two times, ne. Same as in Turkish. Yeah. Uh, does, does it also have sentential negation or verbal negation? Like on the word? Uh, no, there is not. Oh. Uh, okay. Only ne. Only ne. Okay. Uh, okay. It's a positive uh, sentence. Me no shem. Me no yeah. shem. I mean, syntactically positive, but semantically negative, right? Yes. Because okay. of the ne. Ne is enough okay. to make. Noise. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. And I, I see two more hands. Uh, Dr. Bobaljik and Dr. Jen Hoon and have ah, questions, uh, I guess. And, uh, and uh, I guess first Yuha or Yuha, please. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to say we have in Hungarian this ne, nem. Uh, and it, I think mm. uh, the most likely explanation is that they are also borrowings from Iranian. Uh, so, mm. And this shem is, of course, a combination of ish and uh -huh. ish. So, but they are also borrowing. So somehow these words uh, of this type, ne, ni, are easily borrowed. Also, this Russian, ni, ni on, ni ana. It's yeah. into several uh, uh, Eastern Finnic languages. So they seem to be easily borrowable. Uh -huh. And Jonathan? Uh, uh, no, my hand should not be up. Yeah, uh, we have a question uh, here. Alexander Mikhailovich. Oh, well, I would oh, like sorry. to know whether this negation is used only in written language or maybe not only in written language. Written Turkish, I mean. I see. So, yeah, uh, re written, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's also something to look at. So, I think they they are using spoken language as well, right? Uh, depending on whether there are other factors, right? I I hear. I mean, I hear both, right? Uh, the the point is, uh, regardless of whether you use ne ne with or with, without negation, right? Uh, the reading is always right uh, negative meaning. So when, just because you have, and that was my point as well, just because you have negation at the end doesn't mean that the two elements like cancel out each other and you have a positive meaning, right? But yeah, I don't know. I, I haven't checked whether there is more uh, negative forms in spoken or written language. But thank you very much. That's also something to look at. Thank you. Jonathan has a question. <laughs> No, I I don't. Sorry, I don't. No, I don't, don't have no. a hand up on my screen. Sorry. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Thank you. Uh, and that's all, I guess. Mm. Yeah. No thank you. This was very useful to me. This was very Thanks. productive and informative. Thank you very much, everyone. And this oh. concludes the, this uh, session, I guess. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Arjana, I guess there is not any more any question. And yeah, thank you for, um, thank for you. all thank participants. No, 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 these are just... Ah, Dimitri <laughs> Gerasimov. Uh, Dimitri Gerasimov. Please, Dimitri. Yes, so I think we can uh, wrap up this session and we will start at 17.30 Moscow time. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you very much. Yes, thank, thank you, you professor. Yeah. Teşekkür ederiz. Rica ederim. Acırmaz. Acırmaz.
Tja. <lacht> 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 <lacht>